do anything when uh, has an AFC South team done anything besides the Colts and Titans uh, choke a lot? Yeah, and we already we've already talked about how the Colts, Titans, and Texans are like all at the bottom of the AFC. Uh, yeah. Like when you look at odds to win it. So they're already projected to do bad. And then it's the Jaguars. And I mean, do we really trust the Jaguars? <laughs> but we're going to get into that. We're going to play at a lower res. I did. I, 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 instead of high def, I moved, I moved it down to, um, we're streaming at 720. I don't want to go below 720. Cause that, I mean, if I have to, but it should pull off of crickets internet too. So I don't know. Does it look good? Patriot 4165 Derpy, does it look fine? Like, I know it looks fine on our end, Cricket, yeah. but I don't know how it's streaming. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Because um, it will look clear to us in here in the StreamYard studio, but it might not always be that clear. I guess as long as I don't play videos, it seems like it does a lot better. Yeah, the video is just a little lag. It's probably just a bad connection. Dude, it's like a 3.8. Uh, was it megabytes per second upload speed or something that I tested the internet here? So it's super. You oh, need. Man. They say you need like ten at least to to do this stuff, but it's working so far. So we'll see. Hey, we'll see. Hey, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yes, just that bed is triggering me. <laughs> Dude. I pro Okay, tomorrow, Patriot four and six five. I will. I will have it made for you. Okay, <laughs> have it made. <laughs> oh. Oh, you man. can tell I was not in the army. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen. Or else that thing would be made perfectly. Okay, so the Jaguars last year had a nine and eight season. Good season. Did they make the playoffs? They did. They man, the lost to the Chiefs. That's right. They lost to the Chiefs. Let's see. That's up here. Yeah, twenty seven twenty to the Chiefs. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They had that. They had that crazy comeback against. The, the, eh. Of course, the Chargers blowing it. Twenty eight point lead, and they blow it. Yeah, uh, yeah, and then they then they lose to the Chiefs. They gave the Chiefs a good run for their money. I remember because the Chiefs did not cover that game. Uh, me and Cody have had this argument. I don't think they were ever in that game with the Chiefs. It looks a lot closer than it was at the end, and people want to say, yeah, they got the ball back at the idea. I never felt like the Chiefs were going to lose that game or that the Jaguars were going to be able to I, I just say that because the Chiefs didn't cover. <laughs> Trust me, I know they ever? I had the Chiefs. I had the Chiefs to cover in that one. I actually, I don't know, man. yeah, yeah, actually, <laughs> actually, uh, predicted over on sportspicks.locals.com, man. I had my game preview up for that one in the playoffs last year. I actually predicted that score exactly right, man. Right. <laughs> There's not enough cowbell in this quality. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, uh, well, hey, I just realized it must be coming in pretty clear if you can see how my messy bed. So I guess we're doing that's right. fair. That's fair. Now, Jack, we're going to season, man. They finish. I think the 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 thing that's got everyone hyped up about them is uh, hyped up about them is they finish strong, as we can see here. Uh, finish what after the bye week they only lost once, which helped them get into the playoffs here. So they went one, two, three, four, five, six, six and one after the bye week. Um, hell, if they would have imagine what would have happened, if they could have if they could have beat Houston here. Hell, they should have been probably be, beaten the Colts or even New York, but. Uh, Pretty sure that Titans game in week 18 was a win and you're in game. You're right. I think you're right. So, and they won and they yeah. were in and they won a playoff game. Uh huh. Terrible preseason, though. They lost all four preseason games. Hey, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> these, things, these things happen. You never want to be the, the preseason Super Bowl champs. Oh, anyways. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, finish strong. And I think that's why we see a lot of hype. Like Doug Peterson. Uh, started to get the team that he wanted together. They started clicking, and I think everyone expects this team to just kind of continue where they left off and continue to grow and take strides. And in the NFL, that's not usually how it works out. No, no, that, that, that's true. That That is true. You are out there, champ? Yeah, feel for me while I try to pull up. The uh, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. No, I thought over, overall, though, I thought it was a solid season, man. It was, they highly exceeded expectations there it was a tough you know it was a tough hill to climb last year and doug peterson getting there and everything kind of bring trevor lawrence along i don't know what we thought what we'd get out of that i don't know if we thought we'd see the quarterback whisperer and things that we've seen out of doug peterson before and i think he brought trevor lawrence along pretty well and uh what was it second season last season his second season uh, but, who, trevor lawrence's yeah it was his second yeah season. yeah yeah it was his yeah but yeah, now brought him along well, man. He, he felt like he progressed very well throwing the football, made better decisions than he did in his rookie season. And I think he's just going to continue to get better. They got some weapons around him now. If Ntn can stay healthy, 
And uh, you got Calvin Ridley, man. Calvin Ridley is going to be in the mix for comeback player of the year after coming back off that gambling suspension from last year where he was suspended the entire season. But I think this, this Jaguars team is heading in the right direction, man. I really, really do. Derby says, you know what? Uh, whatever happens in the NFL this, this year, we can all agree there's a lot of teams with expectations and questions. The NFL hasn't been like that in a long time. Yeah. And you know what's going to be funny is if it ends up we're sitting here AFC, NFC Championship weekend, and the Chiefs happen to be in the <laughs> – in that mix again and it's like same old same old <laughs> not a bad bet. but but uh yeah it, it that's the nfl the nfl is uh it's it's gonna be interesting there are a lot of teams a lot of people think a lot of people it, it just happens every year and that's why you you can make money betting against it like i said keep talking about this but like it sounds it sounds like a no duh now but going into last season i'm like the cardinals are gonna aren't gonna be good and I bet them nine to one to finish last in their division, and they did. I didn't. I didn't do that with the Rams, but look at the Rams, the Super Bowl champs. They fell off. Uh, it's really hard to, to, to repeat. That's why when you see these teams that do it, it's just so damn impressive. Um, but uh, yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, no, in that yeah. division, in that division, they might only need a couple wins outside of the division. Patriot four one six five says, "Yeah, that division is going to be terrible." So, oh yeah, that's why I'm not betting against the Jaguars, just because I don't see any of those other teams stepping up. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's another nine and eight season for them. I, so I don't see anybody in this division getting double digit wins. Yeah, Uncle Pudge in the Rumble chat says, "Yo, yo, what up, guys? What up, buddy? Good morning. Glad to have you here." Good morning, brother. Uh, Derby says, I think the Chargers are sleepers unless Jacksonville happens again. How can the Chargers be sleepers? I feel like every season everyone's hyped up on the Chargers and then they don't do a damn thing. That's why they're sleepers now. Because you expect them to suck. It's <laughs> <laughs> all I got. I guess, so. I, got. I guess I don't think you can really consider them sleepers, but. I don't know. I mean, they shouldn't be sleepers. I mean, I guess we'll have to call them that because they ain't done shit yet, but they shouldn't be sleepers. There are way too many weapons out there. Let me see if this helps for a second. My internet connection just said it's getting low, so I just... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This way, Patriot 4165 doesn't have to look at my bed. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. We'll roll with it. Yeah, you jump into the draft. Let's go. All right, twenty eighth pick in the first round, they get Anton Harris, the big Harrison. Excuse me, the big offensive tackle out of Oklahoma. This guy is going to be a player in the league. He's a stud, big guy, moves well, got good feet, solid technique. He's going to be a player. Probably going to step in and play early for them on that offensive line. Thirtieth pick in the second round, Brenton Strange, tight end out of Penn State. This is another big guy. Got good hands. Can provide some mismatches. Didn't really get utilized the way I thought he should up there at Penn State. They didn't really mix him in a lot of the passing game. A lot as much as I'd like to have seen him mixed in there, but I think he can step in, play early on, watch we'll see how he develops in the passing game in the NFL. But I like this guy. Twenty fifth pick in the third let round. Me, let me pause you right there. Let me pause Go you ahead. right there. Uncle Butch says, "What up, Patriot?" And he says, "How's the stream been, guys? Uh, it's been going good, uh, I, as you can tell." I am not in my normal setup. I'm on the road. So for being on the road and having this very terrible internet, I think we're doing all right. And Patriot 465 says he's got fresh coffee. That's good. That's what we like to hear. And then wrong um, he, and Derby says he thinks the Chargers can win the Super Bowl. They can. They can okay. put it all together. Okay, go ahead. Th uh, third round pick. 25th pick in the third round, the big running back out of Auburn, Tank Bigsby. This is another big guy that can pound it between those tackles. A guy that can give you – he can be a three-down running back. He's got the build for it, but uh, I think he'll probably wind up being part of a one-two punch here. A uh, little, little thunder and lightning action with him and Travis Ntn. Ventrell Miller, the 19th pick in the fourth round inside linebacker out of Florida. This is a guy that was pretty hyped, pr pretty highly recruited coming out of high school and stuff like that. Didn't really – pan out as much as you would have thought he would have at Florida, but there's been a lot going on down at Florida, but this guy can be a player. He's an athletic freak. I'm anxious to see what he's able to do. 28th pick in the fourth round, Tyler Lacey, the defensive end out of Oklahoma State. Another guy that's been chasing those quarterbacks down in the Big 12, that pass happy league out there. He's used to those defensive fronts that rotate defensive ends in and out. I like this guy. It's a good pick. I think they got some value right here. First pick in the fifth round, Yasir Abdullah, the outside linebacker out of Louisville. Anybody that got drafted off of Louisville's team last year must be a player because they were garbage. So if you were good enough to get noticed on that team, you must be a football player. So I have to see. I don't know a lot about him, 
We'll have to see how he does. 26 pick in the fifth round, Antonio Johnson, the safety out of Texas A&M. Another SEC guy, raw guy that can be developed at the next level. Eighth pick in the sixth round, Parker Washington, another wide receiver from Penn State. They like those Penn State guys. 25th pick in the sixth round, Christian Braswell, cornerback out of Rutgers. 31st pick in the sixth round, Eric Hallett, the second, safety out of Pittsburgh. Then the ninth pick in the seventh round, Cooper Hodges, offensive guard from Appy State. 10th pick in the seventh round, Raymond Bohasic, defensive tackle from North Carolina. And the 23rd pick in the seventh round, Derek Parrish, the fullback from Houston, drafted a fullback. Holy moly, Hell don't yeah. I love it. Had a lot of picks there, man. Got some solid value. Got some uh, big time SEC guys. Got a lot of big time college guys. A lot of Division One guys. The only one I see there that was not was the and Appy State's even D one now. I'm going back to the old days, but yeah, I mean, solid draft, man. Solid draft. Had a lot of picks. A lot of a uh, capital there. Draft capital, and I think they filled some needs here. I like I uh, I like the first round pick going with. Um offensive uh lineman to protect your quarterback i think i always like it when teams do that protect your own quarterback and then if you got all those pick at the end of the draft go for it you know what i mean like they they just if one of them works out one that's 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 what you're hoping for uncle pudge says what do you guys think the jags need to do to have a chance for the playoffs and maybe the super bowl well for the playoffs i think that's all they gotta Probably do is win the good. division, which is highly likely. They're only they're one of I think only two teams that uh, preseason are favored to win the division. Like uh, odds on favorite. Like you're not getting plus odds. You get negative odds on them. Um, so the Chiefs I Chiefs are the other one, right? A, no, the Chiefs are plus money, I believe. Well, they're um, like minus one sixty five or something. I thought minus one sixty five was is the Jags. The other one I thought was. Um, who is the other big favorite? I don't know. Anyways, um, but for the Super Bowl, I, I don't think I don't think they have a chance in hell for the Super Bowl just because I mean the AFC is so loaded. It is so loaded. You'd yeah. have to you would you would have to have the number one seed if they if they got the number one seed then which means they'd have to have like a thirteen and and four season or or yeah. fourteen and three season. They're gonna wind up having to go on the road. I don't see them getting that. They're gonna have to go on the road to either Kansas City or Cincinnati. Somebody like that, Baltimore, Buffalo, one of those, you know. I'll let you answer this one. It says, uh, you think Trevor uh, You think Trevor has what it takes to be a Super Bowl QB? I do. I absolutely do. I think that guy is a freak, man. He's cool, calm, and collected, really controls his poise in the pocket. Uh, I like what that does. I really liked what I saw of him. I was anxious last year, going into last year, I was anxious to see what I was going to get out of him and how he was going to progress at the NFL level and if he was going to be able to do that. But I've seen this guy progress at every level of football he's played. And he just continues to do it day in and day out. And I say what I saw him do, especially last year in that playoff game, man, when he came out and had probably statistically one of the worst halves you can ever have as a NFL starting quarterback in a game, and then comes out and turns around and has one of the best halves you can have as an NFL starting quarterback. So that tells me a lot about that guy being able to shake that off, being down four touchdowns in a playoff game, battle back right there. I mean, that told me all I need to know about Trevor Lawrence. And I think they are just fine. And they got their quarterback for the future for years to come. Yeah, I think he has all the time. T- out in the world to do it and i think one thing that he's lucky to have is doug peterson honestly mm-hmm. i think he's if he if he takes advantage of that he can learn a lot from that guy and i think we've we've seen that we've seen that absolutely all he needs is a go-to guy well another thing that we need to talk about um free you know talking a little bit about free agency and stuff like that um calvin ridley's back coming off that suspension so he didn't get to play last year but now he's back and I know it's just preseason hype and everyone talks about how good everyone looks, but Calvin Ridley is going to be a, a good go-to guy for him. Um, who else do they have on the, let me see. Calvin Ridley's a player, man. Everybody's kind of forgotten about Calvin Ridley and what his skill set is, but that guy, he was expected to be the heir to Julio Jones over there in Atlanta and stuff, man. The next great Atlanta wide receiver. Obviously things didn't work out, but I think people forget. And you got to think he's pissed off. You know, he's got to think how motivated he is. Chip on his shoulder and people forget how good this guy is, man. And now he's got a quarterback that can sling that pill to him. Shoo-wee, I'm telling you, that might be your comeback player of the year, man. Mm, No, they're not going to give it to him. They should. But look, I mean, he's got weapons, so you got E.T. I mean, yeah, they should, but Hamlin's going to, DeMar Hamlin's going to get that one. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, see. That's true. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. You got ETN, but you got Christian Kirk, Calvin Ridley, Zay Jones, Evan Ingram. I mean, he's got weapons. 
He's got Evan Ingram. He's Evan got Ingram's weapons a beast, there. Man. Mm-hmm. I like Evan Ingram made a lot. Christian how Kirk. Cam, yeah. How long is Cam Robinson suspended for? I didn't see that. I didn't either. Let me pull that up real quick. Yeah, I didn't either. That's important. That's important. That might be. <laughs> I mean, have to. No, nah, I mean he'll be he'll be playing whenever he gets reinstated, I guess. But yeah. like I said they got the got the rookie coming in, man. They're going to suspended for four games for violating oh PEDs. I was gonna say four games. You know what that is? Usually that's, that's usually the performance of drug. Yep. That's all right. That means he gets a rest up. You know, come in healthy. Yeah. After a month. Yeah. Let that cycle run through. It'd be good to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was there any big free agency stuff um, with them, Jag? Pull it up. <laughs> Hotel living, baby. Hotel living. Yeah, I got one screen. I got a mic that I have to hold. <laughs> I'm not gonna pull it up because it's already. It already looks like sh- or the things already looking see, like um, Bob Barker up there, man. Yeah. Let's see. Some of the people that they so they lost Marvin Jones. They lost Shaquille Griffin. Um, who did they bring over? They brought in Brandon McManus from Denver, the kicker. <laughs> they really didn't. They really didn't sign anyone. They didn't sign anyone yeah, to a big I contract. Say, I, I think most of their pieces are in place, man. They like like where they're sitting right now. Did, well, did they're cap. They, they didn't. Have, they didn't. Surprisingly, even with his. His uh friendly contract, they don't they didn't have much cap space because they paid a lot of defensive guys. Like they lost Jawan Taylor, their right tackle to Kansas City, because uh Kansas City gave him eighty million dollars. Um and then Andre uh, Arden Key went to Tennessee. Um yeah, so yeah, they didn't really do anything in in the uh in free agency. No. No, I didn't think uh, I couldn't could remember any any earth changing announcements from them in free agency. Calvin Ridley is the biggest one for me. Yeah. I mean, he's already signed to the team, but he's off suspension and that's huge. That is huge. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's get into my favorite part of this. Uh, guess the lines. <laughs> <laughs> so we got guess the lines with the Jaguars. They open up at the Colts. I bet, I believe they're a three and a half point favorite here at Indy. Jags are a three and a half point favorite at the Colts, minus one sixty six on the money line, plus one forty for the Colts. All right, then they are home against Kansas City. Kansas City four and a half point favorite. Jags plus three at home against the Chiefs, plus one thirty on the money line. Chiefs are minus one fifty five. Only plus, I might have to bet that now. I think that's that's when the Chiefs are going to cover. You got to remember, Chiefs are that's a ten day rest for the Chiefs because they open up on Thursday night. Oh yeah, yeah, they will be one. Sure yeah, enough. and it's only three points. Ooh. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> easy money. Uh, someone knows something. I'm just trying yeah. to figure out how I'm going to get screwed. Yeah, probably bet. I probably bet the Jaguars money line. Look at all these home games, but they're not really home. You see that they have like one, two, three, four, five home games in a row, but. Back to back London games. They got back to back London games. I'm guessing that's what that, that is. Look, Atlanta and Buffalo, it's asterisk and it's uh 6 30 a.m., which usually is a London game. Never seen that before, ever. Me either. I mean, they Never basically, seen. but I mean, that, that is the franchise they've talked about. If they ever moved a franchise to London, they talked about it being Jacksonville. That's the one they wanted. If they were going to move somebody, that would be the franchise they moved. Yeah. So home against Houston, I bet they're eight, eight and a half point favorite against Houston. Uh, Jags minus seven at home against the Texans minus three Oh five on the money line. Texans plus two forty five. Okay. And then London with hot Atlanta. Um, I don't think it's the same location. I think they're playing at a different spot, but it's, it's Probably. relatively nearby. Yeah. Um, soccer stadium, uh, neutral Jags three and a half. Jags minus four against the Falcons minus one eighty five on the money line. Falcons plus one fifty four. Gotcha. And then neutral with Buffalo. Buffalo three point favorite. Jags plus three and a half three and a half against Buffalo. Plus one forty two on the money line. Bills are minus one seventy. Interesting. 
All right, and then they come back to the st- this might be a spot to fade them here after being abroad for a couple weeks. Uh home against the Colts, who at the Colts they were three and a half point favorite. So I'd say six and a half point favorite, but then I don't know how the market's gonna adjust for the the London games, but six and a half point favorite. You're right on the money, sir. Jaguars minus six and a half at home against the Colts, minus two sixty five on the money line. Colts are plus two fifteen. Gotcha. And then at New Orleans, uh, one point favorite on the road there? Uh, No, they are one point dogs on the road of the Saints. Jaguars plus one at New Orleans, minus 105 on the money line. Saints minus 115. Patriot 4165 is predicting a four and two start. I'm guessing the only losses being to Kansas City and Buffalo. Um, Then at Pittsburgh, one point. Favorite at Pittsburgh? One point dogs again. Jaguars plus one at the Steelers, mm-hmm. minus 102 on the money line. Steelers are minus 118. And then probably by that point, a much needed bye week. And then home against San Francisco. Ooh, uh, pick them. Jaguars plus one at home against the 49ers, mm-hmm. minus 105 on the money line. Niners are minus 115. Then home against 10 SC. Six point favorite. Jags minus five at home against the Titans, minus two oh five on the money line. Titans plus one seventy. Okay, and then they're at Houston. Um four point favorite. Jags minus four and a half at the Texans, minus one ninety eight on the money line, plus one sixty four for the Texans. Then home against Cincy, I'm guessing two point dog. Jags plus one at home against the Bengals, minus 105 on the money line. Bengals are minus 115. And then at Cleveland, I'm going to say they're a one-point dog in Cleveland. Jaguars plus one and a half at the Browns, plus 105 on the money line. (laughs) Browns are minus 125. They got to do that to me, huh? They got to do that to me. The time I'm like, okay, well, they've been one-point dogs in all these other games. Let's go one, and they go, going to hit you with the hook. Get that hook. Get that hook. Mm-hmm. I'm getting that hook worse than Tim Anderson got over the weekend. Woo wee. <laughs> Home against Baltimore. Uh, one point dog against Baltimore. Jaguars minus one at home against the Ravens. Ooh, they're favored. On the money line, Ravens are minus 105. At Tampa Bay, four point favorites at Tampa Bay. Jaguars minus three and a half at the hapless Buccaneers. Minus 180 on the money line. Bucks are plus 150. Home I don't against think my Carolina. Be in any game this whole season. Probably not. Home against Carolina. Ah, actually, don't they play Arizona? That might be an interesting one. That's true. Pick them. <laughs> play it on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, That's the game nobody wants to fucking see, <laughs> including me, and I'm a fan. You probably couldn't <laughs> give me tickets to go to that game. <laughs> if I'm being serious. Well, yeah, because. Uh, that means you're missing out on all the other games that are going on that week, right? And those cool that would not be. We were talking about that this weekend. So, so uh, my wife and I were talking about this weekend. If someone gave you, let's say someone gave you really, really nice season tickets, would you would you take them? I mean, Man, or they're giving okay. me really nice season tickets. I mean, absolutely. Actually, I guess that's not exactly how it was. You would have to pay for them. Either way, I said I wouldn't want season tickets because that means half the season you're at the stadium. Because you would, if you paid for them, you would want to use them, right? Well, you just sell uh, them. You sell some and make your money. Back. Yeah, yeah, but still, at the same time, I'm like, I would go once. I but would. I enjoy sitting down and watching Red Zone and and all that. So I I I, I have way more fun watching the games at home. Than I going would to, going to the I games. Would much rather have season tickets to the balls. Than I would, the, but now obviously the driving is much a lot quicker for me to get to Knoxville and this to Tampa. But uh, if I had the choice and was able to get there, I would rather have season tickets to to the Vols the, over the bus. There's there's no way anyone sleeps in here. There's a huge ass garbage truck right now. <laughs> <up> the, <laughs> it's loud as shit right out this uh, door. No, nobody's sleeping around here, man. Dude, yeah, I, I doubt. It. I think everyone's got to get up and go to work, anyways. Like I said, this is a logging country, baby. There's a lumberjacks here. Well, they've been working for two hours already, man. <laughs> uh, that is a high school mascot here, lumberjacks, which is crazy because that's that that was mine as well. 
Back you up home. there in like uh, X-Men, X-Men country. That shit on History Channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I got that. This uh, this room comes with an axe. It's right there. They just got it up on the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they might have filmed you on that show, man. Yeah. Okay. Home against Carolina. Um, f- mm, four and a half point favorites. Jags minus five at home against the Panthers minus 205 on the money line. Panthers plus 170. Page at four and six sizes. He would use them for a drawing for charity. Yeah. Yeah. You could do that too. I'm just saying, like, if we're talking about going to the game, like, even if someone gave me season tickets, I don't think I'd go all eight games. Like, the deal was, we'll give you these season tickets, but you got to go to every home game. I don't think I'd do it because I enjoy too much. Uh, even if it was the Patriots, even if it was my team or whatever, I enjoy too much um, watching all the games. Yeah, and there's always going to be just bad games, and if you know, like, throughout the course of an NFL schedule, every team well, is going to have just terrible games. Not even that. You're just your whole day is spent there. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. By the time you get two hours before, two hours after. By the time you get out of traffic and all that stuff. Indeed, indeed. Okay, and then um, home or no at Tennessee. Two and a half point favorites at Tennessee. Round the money, sir. Jaguars minus two and a half at the Titans minus one thirty five on the money line. Titans are plus one fourteen. Okay, okay. Um, what you thinking? You want to pull up the odds and stuff like that? Yeah, I can. Or, oh no, what, what were you gonna say about that schedule? Uh, well, yeah, what you think with that schedule? While I'm doing this, what what you think? What, what are you what are you seeing out of the Jaguars next year? Give me a prediction. I I think I see why they're gonna win their division, but uh, they've got some tough games. You got Kansas City, you got Buffalo, you got Cincinnati, you got San Francisco, Baltimore. I mean, you got some tough games, but I. I I don't know what to take from because I don't know. Like, it's gonna go either really good or really bad for them abroad. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, that's that's uh, so we'll that's see. gonna be a, a telling stretch for them for sure. Those two games, I've never seen a team have to play back to back games overseas. Obviously, they'll just stay over there for the course of that week, so it actually may help a little bit. Patriot four one six five says nine and eight road playoffs. Actually, if unless somehow someone else wins that division, uh, would they would get a home yeah. playoff game. Yep. Like like last year, man, because the Chargers had a better record than them last year and had to travel on the road, go west coast to east coast. And, and then the Chargers got their ass whooped for it, too. Well, they, kind of their own fault. Blew a four touchdown <laughs> lead. It happened. <laughs> Let's see. Tech, that was like Houston when they blew it to Kansas City, that 24 point lead a couple of years back. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yeah. No, they were City won their first Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I I bet I bet the Chiefs alive at that point. It was only like three to one, but I was like, we're you just, like you we're just like three at, minutes three minutes you, into this this second quarter. There's yeah, plenty you of look time. at Patrick Mahomes and how hype he was on the sidelines, and know that boys was about to come back. Yeah, no, that was uh, I remember watching that game live. Yeah, whoo wee, spot him twenty four points, still spanking. Jaguars are thirty to one to win the Super Bowl, plus three thousand right there. This is on DraftKings, obviously, guys. Y'all can read. Um, plus three thousand thirty to one. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't. I can't bet any money on somebody out of that division. Let's see to win the conference here, AFC fourteen to one. That ain't high enough either. I need that twenty to one, man. <laughs> I need that twenty to one to get that. Let's look at the division. What we got in the division here? Minus one fifty five. Titans plus three fifty. Colts plus. I don't know that – I think that division is a little more wide open than that, man. I don't know that they should be favored in that division by that much. I don't know that I can yeah. lay any money on them to – on anybody to win that division. Oh, I guess you were right. Damn, the Chiefs are that big of favorites. I think that's a mistake. The Chiefs have some questions on offense. That's Eagle, crazy. Eagles favored two, minus 135 there. That's also strange. And the yeah. Niners minus 160. Man, I don't feel good about any of those. I never feel good about laying that kind of money on somebody for, you know, I never want to lay, but I want to get plus money. If I'm doing a year long bet and stuff like that, I want to get plus money on that. I don't find any value in having to lay money in something like that. I'm going to have to sweat for four months. No, nope, that looks like shit. I'm tired of holding this thing. <laughs> <laughs> to make the playoffs, Jags are yes, minus 195, no, plus 165 there. 
So you're better off betting them to win the division because you only got to lay minus 155. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to make the playoffs if, if if they don't win the division. No, no, no. Yeah, so you're much better off just go ahead and bet in the division right there. If that's your cup of tea, like I said, I'm not going to lay money on that. Let's see wins here. What's their win total set at? I bet nine and a half. Seems right. Nine and a half. Minus 140 for the over, plus 120 under nine and a half. So what's over 10 over. and a half? Click that 10 and a half. Let's see what that is. Plus 125 on the over, minus 150 on the under. I think I like the under there. I don't see more than 10 wins. Let's see what. Let's just say they have a real bad year. Boy, you can get under seven and a half plus 360. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't either. What's eight? Let's see what eight and a half is. Eight and a half seems. I can see them going eight and nine plus 200 under eight and a half. Two to one on your money. A little bit, a little bit better there. What else you want to see, man? MVP, Trevor Lawrence. Let's go to awards. MVP, Trevor Lawrence, 15 to one. Mm, Seems low. Yeah. 25 to one. I started to say, I need, I need him down there with Dak Mm -hmm. to uh, get that. But I, I mean, 15 to 1 still a, if if they do find a way to uh put together a 13 and 4 14 and 3 season I don't think there's any way they do but if they do Trevor Lawrence is going to be in that conversation for sure there ain't no way they get that many wins without that man playing at that kind of level ain't See, we got Doug, Doug Peterson here coach of the year and then we're going to look at comeback player of the year too uh let's see where's he at 22 to 1 that ain't bad hmm. That's not a bad, uh, bad little ticket to have right there. Twenty-two to one. I think, I think that's better than Lawrence MVP. Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Because for both of those scenarios to happen, Jags would have to get the one seed. If Jags get the one seed. Doug Peterson's getting the Coach of the Year. That's a good ticket. Thirty-five to one. Calvin Ridley, Comeback Player of the Year. Ooh, Hamlin's odds came. They're, they're shrinking, ain't they? They're shrinking. They were like minus 500. Uh, there's minus 550 at one point. Huh. Yeah, they're shrinking on up there. So, okay. Okay. But I like that Calvin Ridley. I might have sprinkled a little bit on that 35 to 1. Could have made a really bad joke there, and I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to start off the week that insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, we'll, we'll ease into that. 